60 seconds. In one minute. 60 minutes. In one hour. 24 hours. In one day. That's how we wrap time in the cool kid way. 60 seconds. In one minute. 60 minutes. In one hour. 24 hours. In one day. That's how we wrap time in the cool kid way. 60 seconds around the clock. There's one minute to talk, to talk the amount of time it takes to walk from your cafeteria to your class to the hall. Sixty seconds around the clock is one minute to talk, to talk. Sixty seconds in one minute. Sixty minutes in one hour. Twenty-four hours in one day. That's how we wrap time in the cool kid way. Sixty seconds in one minute. Sixty minutes in one hour. Twenty-four hours in one day. That's how we wrap time in the cool kid way. Sixty minutes around the clock. Is one hour tick tock tick tock the amount of time it takes to crunch and play and races and having lunch? Sixty minutes around the clock is one hour tick tock tick tock. Sixty seconds in one minute. Sixty minutes in one hour. Twenty-four hours in one day. That's how we wrap time in the cool kid way. Sixty seconds in one minute. Sixty minutes in one hour. Twenty-four hours in one day. That's how we wrap time in the cool kid way. Twenty-four hours of life you see is one day for you and me. The amount of time it takes the earth to spin around. Once is a day, I'm sure. 24 hours of life you see is one day for you and me. 60 seconds in one minute. 60 minutes in one hour. 24 hours in one day. That's how we wrap time in the cool kid way. 60 seconds in one minute. 60 minutes in one hour. 24 hours in one day. That's how we wrap time in the cool Great stuff. Way. Also, be sure to visit harrykindergarten.com to buy the song that you just heard. It's only a dollar, but it'll go a long way to support the guy you heard sing the song. I made the video. He makes music. I make videos. That's how it works. Anyways, without further ado, what do I want to teach you in this lesson? Well, I want to help make sense of the song that you heard so that it, it becomes more practical for you so you can solve problems in math with it. And I'm going to help... First of all, help you understand what hours and minutes and seconds are before we do any kind of problems. I have two clocks to help me do this. The clock on the left, if you look at it carefully, on the bottom it has hours here, it has minutes in the middle, it has seconds. Let's start with seconds. Look on the clock on the right. See that red ticker? That's seconds. Every time it ticks 60, 60 times, makes 60 times, which is a full circle, that's 60 ticks, that's the same as a minute. Look what happens. I'm going to tick it 60 times. It doesn't go that fast, of course. It goes at the same speed that you see it on the right. But I'm going to make it faster. You're going to get through this faster. As soon as it gets, look here, 57, 58 ticks, 59 ticks. I'm not going to say it's seconds. 59, it doesn't go to 60. Look what happens. It goes back to zero, and then the minute goes up to one. Oh, did you see what just happened? Look at that. The minute is the long black one. One. Two. If it goes another 60 ticks, it goes to 2 minutes. If it goes another 60 ticks, it goes to 3 minutes. Another 60 ticks, 4 minutes, and then 5 minutes. But wait a minute, it's pointing at 1. What is that all about? You know what it's all about? That 1 here symbolizes the hours, which is on the far left side. The minutes are the little ticks in between. So if it goes another 5 ticks, it lands on the 2, it goes, which is the 10th minute. If it goes another 5 ticks, it goes to the 3, and that's how it works. Now, if it turns... 60 times, that's the minute hand. If the minute hand goes 60 times all the way around the circle, it gets to 56, 7, 8, 9. Again, it doesn't go to 60. The 60th one, it actually resets back to zero, which is where it started. But look what happens to the hour hand, which is the short black one. It goes now one hour. It goes like that. Every time it goes 60 times around, the black long one, the minute hand, the hour hand turns only once. And that's how time works. 60 seconds in a minute, 60 minutes in an hour. And then let's see how we can use this information to help us solve problems. Minutes to seconds. Here's what I want you to remember. I want you to remember that, hey, what's this clock doing here? 
like a little tail end of it. Anyway, let's ignore it. We have this here. Anytime it says change minutes into seconds, here's what I want you to remember. 60 seconds in one minute. See what's that? Six, 60 seconds in one minute. So something like that. We have 60 seconds. I'm going to write it down. 60 seconds equals one minute. Just like that. And then what happens here? One minute. How many seconds is that? We have it right here. It's 60. Okay, so what about two minutes? How do we do that? Okay, so two minutes is going to be two 60s, right? 60. Now we have two minutes. So it's another 60 seconds will be another minute. So now we have two minutes. If you add these together, you get 0 plus 0 is 0. 6 plus, add the 10. 6 10s and 6 10s is 12 10s. So you get 120. 120 what? 120 seconds. How about three minutes? Well, three minutes is going to be, here, let's, uh, let's erase that. Let's get rid of this one here. If we go three minutes, what that means is we're going to add a third minute. We're going to add a third one. So now we have three sixties. Get it? Three minutes, three sixties. You add these up. Here we have three minutes. That's easy. And then here we have six plus six plus six is 18. And then zero ones is just zero. So we get 180 seconds. Do we ever? Woo! Okay, let's delete this because now we have to go four minutes. So here, let's go back three minutes. Now the next part says, how about four minutes? What do we do for four minutes? Well, I think you get the idea, right? The fourth minute is going to be another 60 seconds. Every single minute is going to be 60 seconds. If you add these together, 0, 0, 0, 0 is just 0. 6 and 6, that makes 12. These two make 12. These two make 12, and 12 and 12 is 24. So you get 240 seconds equals 4 minutes. How did I get 4 here? Because look, I have 4 minutes. 1, 1, 1, 1. That's 4 minutes. And let's see if we're right. Of course we're right. Hey, where's my sound? Okay, whatever. Let's move on. Five minutes. Let's reset this a bit. You know what I'm going to do for five minutes? I think you could do it. You could probably beat me on this. Make sure you're writing this down on a paper so uh, you're keeping notes on it. Here's the fifth minute. We're going to add five sixties. Now let's see what that makes. On the right side here, of course, I've got five minutes. And on the left side, I've got, let's see, these two make 12. These two make 12. And 12 and 12 is 24. And then six more is 30. And then zero, one, zero, zero, zero is just zero. I'm just adding them all up. And then I've got, let's see here, 300 seconds is going to be five minutes. My sound, come on, baby. Sound. Yeah. Oh, no. Okay. I suggest you memorize these. But learn how to do it first and then memorize it because it's going to help you out a lot. How about hours into minutes? So remember hours. What does the song say? If you hear hours and minutes together in a question, you think of this every time. 60 minutes in one hour. That's right. 60 minutes equals one hour. Equals one hour. Let's move the clock because we don't really need the clock. So I'm going to move this here to the side. I'm going to say 60 minutes is an hour. So that one hour here, what's one hour? 60 minutes. <laughs> Definitely 60 minutes. How about two hours? How do we do two hours? Well, we just add another hour. The song says 60 minutes in an hour. So I'm going to write 60 minutes again. And then if I do the math, I'm going to get 6 and 6 is 12. And then this is 0. So it's 120 minutes. Hey, that's kind of like the last page we did. 120 minutes is two hours. Now look what we can do here. How about for three hours? You know what we're going to do for three hours? Three hours, we're going to put 360s equals one hour. Then we add these, we're going to get three hours. We add this, 0, 0, 0, 0, 6, 6, 6 is 18. And then I got 180 minutes equals three hours. So let's double check that. Now I'm not going to go through these other two. It's going to be exactly the same as what we did on the last page. Except on this, I'm going to put hours. And on this side, I'm going to put minutes. But the same stuff applies. So let's reveal the answers. Of 
course, four hours is a party. Five hours, though, it's going to be 300 minutes. So we have all our numbers here. It's exactly the same. Look at the, all these here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Here I have 60, 100, 20, 100, 80, 240, 300. It's exactly the same as this page. See, 60, 120, 180, 240, 300. And on this side, however, I have minutes. In this side, I have seconds. Here, on the next page, same numbers, but I have hours and I have minutes. So remember your stuff. Understand how to figure out these numbers and then memorize them because it's going to really help you out. You don't want to always do the math and count and, and write things down. Just memorize it. Now it's your turn. And the question is going to get really ugly. So let's see how we can figure this out here. Josh finished the race in 180 seconds. How many minutes is that? Okay, here was, I'm, going to, I'm going to underline seconds and I'm going to do it in red. And I'm going to underline minutes. Seconds and minutes. What does the song say? 60 seconds in one minute. Okay. 60 seconds in a minute, so I'm going to write 60 seconds, I'll just write S, in one min, one minute, 60 seconds in a minute, but it says 180, well you should know just from practicing, if you memorize it, you'll know it right away, keep doing this till you get to 180, and if you practiced enough, you should, under, you should know that 360s makes 180, if you add them up, you plus them all, you get 180, 180 seconds equals Three minutes. How many minutes is that? It's going to be three minutes. How about this one? Mary or Marie? Marie, 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 Mary. Finished her homework in 260 minutes. 260 minutes. It sounds like a lot. and It is, really. Is that more than five hours or is that less than five hours? You know what I don't like? I don't like how it's saying minutes and hours. I like it when things are the same. Either they're both minutes or they're both hours. So let's change this one here into minutes. I think we this that would probably be easier. It doesn't really matter, but let's take this here. We have hours. We have minutes. What does the song say? 60 minutes in one hour. Of course. So 60 minutes. 60 minutes in one hour. And I have oh, I know I should stick to teaching. Totally should stick to teaching. I don't want this five. I, I want to, in fact, I don't like it that much at all. I'm going to scratch it out. I, that's how much I don't like it. I'm going to scratch it out. I'm going to change it now. I'm going to go five hours. I'm going to go four. Here's the fourth. Here's the fifth. HR just means hours. Just this the short way of writing hours. Now I have five of them. Five hours. So what am I going to do here? I'm going to write five sixties. And we do, we know how much that makes. One, two, three, four, five. That just makes 300. 300 minutes. So I'm going to scratch that out and I'm going to, I'm going to write 300 minutes. 300 minutes. So now instead of saying five hours, the question says Mary finished her homework in 260 minutes. Is that more than 300 minutes or is it less than? Scratch that and write 300 minutes. Well, now it's an easy question. Of course, 260 is less. It's less than 300. And I think we have one more question. No, we have two more. Mikey, Trevor, Ashley, and Amina ran a race. The judges recorded their finishing times in the chart below. So this is how long it took them to finish the race. Arrange the runners in order based on who finished first. Who finished first? Again, look what we have here. We have minutes. We have seconds. We have seconds, seconds. And then we have this minutes. It's kind of like just a little ugly. It's just sitting there. It's different than the others. Make them the same. So three minutes. How much is that? Well, three minutes... Um, let's remember the song. 60 seconds in one minute. I'm going to change minutes to seconds. So I'm going to write, let's see, 360s. 60, 60, and 60. That's easy. 180 seconds. So I'm going to scratch it out. Scratch, just scratch it out. Make it 180. 180 seconds. There, 180 seconds. Now we can compare them. They're all the same. They're all seconds, 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 seconds. That's what we like. So who finished first? It's got to be Trevor, right? Because he has the biggest number. Of course, he's got to be the first one because his number is the biggest. No, 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 no. Never like that. Because look, imagine this. The guy who finished the fastest, the guy who finished the race first, is going to do it in less time, right? The guy who takes the longest, who's in the last place, he's going so slow, it takes him forever. He's going to have a large time, a very big time because the clock's still going and going and going. So who's got the smallest time? 
60. She only did it in 60 seconds, Ashley. That's the small. That's less than all of these other ones. So what are we going to write? We're going to say Ashley finished first. And we're going to give her a number one. She's in first place. Who's in second? Amina. It's the second smallest number, right? These two are still going. The clock's still going. It's 180, 240, right? So Amina's going to be second. Let's see. Silver medal for Amina. Not as loud of a cheer as Ashley, but still pretty good. And who's in third place? It's Mikey, right? He's got 180 seconds. That's the third smallest. Let's hear it for Mikey. Bronze medal. Oh, come on, crowd. You can do better than that. The guy did his best. And then for fourth place, uh, Trevor. He's slow. 240 seconds. That's a long time. Fourth place for Trevor. <laughs> Apparently, the crowd likes fourth place. Now, for this last part, you do this on your own. Stop the video, pause the video, and see if you can do all these here. Convert them. Seconds to minutes. Think of the song. Seconds and minutes. Minutes and seconds. Hours and minutes. 60 minutes in one hour. So do that in your head. Pause the video and come back when you're ready. Assuming you did that, here's... I, now, we need to write something. So I got these plates here. I just found them. What you do is on one plate, you make seconds and hours. So you can do this. You can go 60. I'm going to write M for minutes. Equals one hour. 120 minutes, 120 M for minutes, equals 2 hours. I'll just write H. And I have 180 minutes, because I memorized them and I know how to do this now, I could go 3 hours. And then 240 equals 4 hours. And what's next? Then we, we got 300 minutes is 5 hours. And this is going to be just my minutes to hours. And then on the next plate, woo, I got 2 plates. We can go 60 seconds in one minute, go one minute, and then 120 seconds for two minutes, two minutes, and then 180 seconds for three minutes, then 240 for four, and then I've got 300 for five, 300 seconds for five minutes, and now I've basically got all the answers. All right, now they move together. So check it out. Here it says 120 seconds is how many minutes? Well, all I got to do is just pick up 120 seconds is two minutes. It says it right there. How about three minutes? Well, three minutes is right here. That's 180 seconds. How about four hours? Oh, four hours are on this side. So four hours right here, 4H is 240. So I just write 240. 240 minutes. Well, we just did that right here. 240 minutes is four hours. So I could write that. Oops. And then I got 300 seconds, so I can go to this one. 300 seconds is 5 minutes, and I can write 5 minutes. And then 60 minutes is 1 hour, of course. 3 hours is going to be, where's my hours chart? 3 hours. Ah, here it is. 3 hours is 180. 5 minutes, which is the last question. 5 minutes, not on this one. It's going to be on this one. 5 minutes is going to be 300 seconds. All right, guys. Now, this is a hard lesson. I, I really urge you, I recommend that you watch this video again. Probably sit down with mom and dad and get lots of practice. And uh, I'd like to thank you very much for watching this video. And I hope to see you in the next lesson. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great day. I'll see you later.